Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And this is our movie review for Polite Society. A young teen who dreams to be a famous stunt woman believes she must save her older sister from her impending marriage. With the help of her friends, she tries to pull off the most ambitious of all wedding heists in the name of independence and sisterhood. The Polite Society, though nothing polite about this film, and I don't mean that in a bad way, and I just think it's a nice juxtaposition to what the story they're telling. It is focused around a young girl, teenage girl, mm -hmm. named Rhea, and I think one of the most interesting thing is uh, she's enrolled in this like all girl school. Everybody is very worried about their academic, and she's like, "I want to be a stunt woman." And it's very funny because it does kind of run in the family because her sister also went off to art school, and at this point in the movie, it, she has decided mm, I'm not good enough to be in art school. So it's the relationship between Rhea and Lena. Lena and how even though her older sister is not is kind of down and in the um, dumps for about not being able to do art school, she's like, come on, help me film this. Help me film this stunt. Let me learn. And then it's them growing together as sisters. Want to help me with a vid for my channel? Yeah, I think despite the um, the age gap, I really liked the uh, relationship between the two where the sister, the, all, you can tell that there is a lot of love and admiration between the two of them. So they kind of will encourage each other to do things, push each other to do things. And, and especially for uh, the younger one, Rhea, her dreams to be a stunt woman is, is almost kind of like, it reminds me of a little Miss Marvel yeah. uh, with uh, Kamala in her room and, and she like would film videos and etc. Uh, Rhea utilizes the YouTube aspects of it as well and kind of films her own shorts. Sending emails to her, yes. to her, uh, how do you say that? To, to her, her idol. To her idol. Yes. Saying, oh, please look at my videos. Um, I want to do, I want to be an apprentice. I'd love to come and train underneath you. But of course, unfortunately, she never gets a response. Uh, so this movie is more than just about Rhea's dream of becoming a stunt woman, although that is the through line of the film. The next thing is really the relationship between the two sisters and Lena's journey of she's feeling lost after not being successful in art school. What does she want to do? Um, and of course, out of nowhere, she finds this man who has all of a sudden very quickly become the love of her life. Her family is super, super excited for her except for her younger sister who is like there is something wrong with this guy so she follows her hunch and it leads her down a trail of very unbelievable things that actually does happen in the movie and that's one of the things where i thought this movie was kind of towing the line between like someone's very active imagination and what's real and the i kind of spent almost the entire movie thinking is there a reveal or is this like actually as she sees it and as things were playing out i was like oh this is actually like for real happening this is not a part of her imagination and i think that's where they really missed a very good opportunity in this is to kind of play up the fact that this is happening in her imagination and to continue that, the, or at least yeah. part of it and to be able to kind of like what to continue your thought on miss marvel how there are moments in the in the series that it is very obvious her imagination mm. because there are some very off the wall things the dialogue is very goofy and i do have to admit the conversations that she has like with her best friends it seems a little too da, 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 and i'm kind of like like too bouncy back what does that what does that mean um still it's kind of like to where it's not a very believable conversation mm. and seems a little don't get me wrong the relationship with her and her two best friends is cute and adorable but it's it starts off cute and adorable but then it starts to get a little like jumping the shark a little bit to okay. where it doesn't it, see, it doesn't seem believable it doesn't seem realistic and it can't really seem to decide on which side of the fence they want to go on and they don't ride that fence very well the trailer for this movie kind of led me to believe that there was going to be uh, just some really insane stunt work in this. And what goes in line with Rhea's dream of wanting to become a stunt woman. And what we saw in the trailer, I was like, oh, this is going to be really fan happy, really fantastic. We see them later in these gorgeous gowns doing backflips. And I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. And the the tone of the movie is very... 
it's very it has a very specific way and style of filming so they kind of give you that early on they stick with it for the rest of the film which I was like okay got it moving on but for I feel almost a little bit um kind of like the trailer was in a way misleading not that I was seeing this movie as a full action film because it's really not that it's like a coming of age comedy with stunt elements but I but I really thought they were kind they were they were kind of pitching it as like look at the stunts we're gonna have and when we get to I don't want to ruin anything for you but we get to the big climax of the film where everybody's in these gorgeous gowns and is it is this group fight and I thought we were gonna get to see gorgeous kicks and all this work and I feel like the way they captured the stunts specifically in that scene was a little lackluster. I wish they were had it pulled back a little bit more or they played with the way the costume would have moved with certain um, stunt movements to make it because I felt like it was so wasted. Basically at the end of the movie I was like okay so if you're going think going in thinking this is going to be equal parts like sisterhood relationship and stunts. It's really not. I think the sisterhood relationship comedy and friendship um, really takes the, the majority of the film. And even though they did kind of push this action kind of storyline in the trailer, I have to admit, having a little bit of background in stunts and in fight choreography, I found that the choreography itself was very lackluster. Not even just the way it was filmed, but the fact that you had like one punch, cut to another angle, one punch, and then they would like hold it there, like, huh, huh, and I'm like, no, I, I found it very, um, it was frustrating to watch because I had expected a little bit more of like, maybe even if you did some more flashy moves, some more over the top kind of um, fight scenes, it was still just, the choreography just wasn't there. And I felt like, I don't know if it was because of the actors had little to no stunt training or stunt background, or if it was the fact that they were this is the choreography that they've really wanted. Mm. I, I felt frustrated because I wanted to see a little bit more. I wanted to see maybe, you know, I always want to love seeing more of a master shot where you pull out and see at least a few moves. But I don't think there was more than one or two hits before a cut, before a hold, before the momentum of the fight stopped for something. And it just made me very frustrated with a little bit of a background seeing these fights. And just to speak on that, the style of um, fighting, the way they decided to film the stunts as well, it was very, uh, I don't want to compare it to Kung Fu Hustle, but it, it kind of comes to that, which by the way, we love, we love Kung Fu Hustle. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. But we were, so in the film, they alluded a couple of times to the fact that Rhea has an overactive imagination. So the way they filmed this, these these stunts, I was it made me feel like, okay, is this a part of her imagination of a scenario? So it's kind of overly dramatic. Um, but then as it was revealed afterwards, these sequences actually did happen. So it kind of made it unreal to me, but you're setting that up against a very real situation that her and her sisters you know are in so so I think for me the balance was a little bit off on that um and as much as I enjoyed the performances of the actors and their acting uh specifically the relationship of the two sisters and Rhea and her friends which are such a joy to watch uh I found myself a little bit disappointed with this film so with that said we're gonna go ahead and give you guys our rating and if you want to check out the movie couple rating it is listed in the description below my rating for this movie Movie is stream it. I think it's worth checking out for the acting and the relationship. So what I liked about the play of the name Polite Society is that these girls are expected to act a certain way because they're family or are, are, are of this stature or they're associated with other families in this like, you know, certain tier of society. But when the girls speak to, to each other, it's very 
none of it's it's not of that you know the way they act and how um other women of the society like look at them so i, I kind of enjoy seeing and that's why we were saying like oh it's like not really polite because if you watch the way these girls interact with each other and their family and kind of it's it's just really really hilarious to me that it's called polite society and it's a complete opposite of that i really like being exposed to um the cast and their acting but for the way the story was being told and the way they filmed the fight sequences, I would have to give this a stream it. Yeah, for me, it didn't quite hit home for me as well. I feel like the good parts of it we didn't quite get enough of. The fight scenes, since they were going in this direction, they should have either gone full-on kung fu hustle kind mm. of comedy fighting or they should have dialed it back a little bit and kind of given us a little bit more of the drama and the relationship of the sisters. And there was just, there was also an underlying comedy in this that mm. just didn't quite hit home. I personally think that it, this is a very, this is a, a British film. I personally think that there's a little bit of a disconnect culturally for me that the comedy just didn't quite hit. So I'm going to say that this movie is not for me. And there you have it. That is our thoughts on Polite Society. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.